ear, napkins, golf, handshakes, brunch, Applebee's. All the things that we millennials have taken out in the name of avocado toast. Sushi, you're next. Welcome back to Sushi Day. I'm Allison and today we are going full millennial and making avocado toast sushi. So I want to know, do you eat avocado toast? Do you like avocado toast? Let me know in the comments below. Because I am a bad millennial. I don't really eat avocado toast. I don't really like avocado toast. Like it's not terrible, but it's not something I'd go out of my way for. It's not something I'm gonna eat for breakfast on a regular basis. It's just not my thing. I'm not really an avocado person. California should really kick me out. <laughs> because I have friends, Californian friends, who can take half an avocado, sprinkle a little salt or something, and eat it with a spoon and call that breakfast. And I'm just like, how? Do you not get the worst heartburn ever? Is it just me? Does anybody else have this problem? Because avocado just gives me the worst heartburn. I can't do it. I, I don't hate avocado. I'll eat it in sushi. I'll eat it with other things. Avocado on pizza, delicious. But I just can't eat an avocado by itself. All that being said, let's make some avocado toast sushi. What goes in avocado toast sushi? So we need the avocado, obviously, I should hope. We're gonna be doing something a little odd this time. It's something I've been wanting to try a little bit and it's the perfect excuse to put a fried egg in sushi. We may have yolk going everywhere, but I really wanna try this. So we're gonna make it happen for this one. And then to get the toast bit of it, we're gonna take some panko and roll the outside of the sushi roll in panko to get that sort of bready, toasty, crumb sort of thing going on. And that's gonna be our avocado toast sushi. We have an avocado tree where we live. And the first year that we lived here, it gave us so many gigantic avocados. They were like the size of my head. They're just the biggest avocados I've ever seen. So we're like, great, we've got an avocado tree. We're gonna have lots of avocados. Never mind the fact that I'm not that much of an avocado person. We're gonna make it happen. Guacamole is delicious. It's all good. And then ever since then, we've been getting like one or two avocados a year. Mostly been getting fallen avocados with bites taken out of them because we've got critters that love avocados. Who knew that squirrels love avocados, but they'll just take a little bite out of it and then toss it on the ground. And I'm just like, that was a perfectly good avocado. What the heck, yo? Somebody could have eaten that. But no, the squirrel just had to take it all for themselves. This is by far the messiest roll I have ever made. It just gets everywhere. So let's taste this and see if the mess is worth it. It's creamy, it's salty, it's very hearty. It's totally worth the mess because that egg yolk just completely sauces the roll. Unlike if you used tamago or scrambled eggs or an egg omelet or something like that where it would just be a solid bit of egg, this just adds a sauciness to the entire roll that is just wonderful. Definitely eat it with shoyu, or even just sprinkle it with sea salt, because that saltiness, it is needed. You do have to have that, otherwise it's a little bit of a bland roll. But overall, it's pretty darn tasty. I would give this roll a seven out of 10. It's a really tasty roll, but it's a huge mess. I really enjoyed it, but I don't know that I would make it again. So, seven out of 10. Would you eat avocado toast in sushi? Or would you prefer avocado toast as toast? 
let me know in the comments below or hit me up on social media, on Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter. I'm Sushi Day everywhere. And if you're not subbed yet, hit that sub button, turn notifications on, and come back and see what else we've got in store for you. Until next time, see you later. Do you like avocado toast? Do you eat avocado? <laughs> you know, it's a difficult word. <laughs>